The next thing we're going to do is learn a little bit about some of the selection tools or the marquee tools. Um, and to get rid of this selection right here, I can go to select, deselect, or do control D on my keyboard. So we are going to work with the rectangular marquee and the elliptical marquee. The two marquees, they are going to select by shape, so by square or rectangle, or by ellipse, so oval or circle. Um, the lasso tool, there are several. The lasso tool, this is a free form draw. So you just have to start in one area, you can draw whatever you want, some sort of organic shape, and then you have to end back where you started, and it will make that selection. The polygon lasso, it allows you to select in angles and straight lines. So you'll click to begin. You don't have to keep holding your mouse, you'll just go to wherever you want. I'm going to make some sort of angular shape here and you just have to click your way back to the beginning and when you get that little circle that means you are back at the beginning. So it doesn't matter what, what part you are selecting of this, this is more practice for getting to know what these selection tools do. So you will need to use all four of these, rectangular, elliptical, lasso, and polygon and you can use them more than once um, but the requirement is that you use them at least once and you are going to make some sort of picture out of this um, and you're going to use this landscape or if you want to get your own landscape that would be fine and you're going to open a new document so file new we're going to use inches 5 inches by 5 inches and 180 pixels and so this is where we're going to paste what we select over here. So let's see. I'm going to do the rectangular marquee and let's say I'm going to grab this section, copy, control C, toggle over to here, paste, control V. So right now I have a square selection. I'm going to come back over here and choose an elliptical copy. Whoops, I hit cut, which is control X by accident. Control C, control V. So what we have here is, so far I have the rectangular marquee and I have a, an elliptical marquee. So I can choose to make whatever I want out of these shapes. You will need to make something that also includes the lasso. Polygon lasso. I'm going to now make all of these pieces fit onto the whiteboard so I can see what what kind of shapes I have to work with. Some people like to design this before um, and then, so figure out a design and then cut out your shapes to piece here or just kind of wing it, which is what I'm doing. Whatever you prefer. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is, by the way, if you want to hide something, you just hit this little eyeball here. I think that this shape here, this bottom shape, looks like somebody jumping. So I'm going to turn, whoops, don't apply. I'm going to turn this. And then give this little 
electric person ahead. Maybe this is some water down here. And then uh, I guess I would need some sort of diving board. Something they are jumping off of. This shape doesn't quite work, so what I can do is, if I don't like that, I can simply delete that shape because that didn't work. And now I know what I need, so I can toggle back here, get that same tool, my rectangle marquee, and get more of a rectangular shape, like a diving board. Want to say I wanted to move this circle and the body together. I want to resize it as one. You would hold down the control key to select both objects and then you can um, select or resize them as if they were one layer. I could also come back here and do some more abstract shapes. Maybe I want to get some little like water droplets around. I could also just copy and paste this one droplet that I already have. So now I can have more than one of those, turn it, resize it. And I would continue working with this, but you get the idea. Um, once you're done with this, you will save it as landscape selection. So the last thing that we saved was lead underscore shape. This is going to be landscape. And there you have it. When you're done with all of these, you'll want to make sure you also turn it into me in the digital photography drive.